Okay, your evening routine affects your next day. Yep, had a little bit of a long day, been consulting all day, and uh, had a couple of yawns in there, like just fatigued. And this came down to one single thing, which I've become aware of in the last maybe a week or so, not going to bed on time. Now, there's actually two factors. One is I didn't get to bed till 10.30 p.m. and my target was 9 p.m. So I missed it by an hour and a half and guess what? My alarm went off at 5 a.m. this morning and I slept until 6.30. And it was lovely. Like it was one of those ones we just got more wood for the fire and the house was warm, the bed was warm and I was pretty fatigued so I stayed in. And it has an effect on my day. Like it has an effect on my day because just a couple of times I was like, oh, geez, I'm tired. Should have had a nap at lunchtime. Should have had a nap at lunchtime, but didn't. You know, that 20 minute little power nap. And you might say, well, Tom, you clearly might have obstructive sleep apnea. And I'm like, yeah, maybe, but also probably just not enough sleep. So tonight, the target 9 p.m. Will I hit it? I'm going to. I'm going to. I'll report back to you guys tomorrow on that. Why? Because I need some more sleep. I want to make some more sleep. I had a big week last week, a couple of nights up pretty late or rather up very early, uh, pushing through on some workshops which run the States, which mean a ungodly hour of 2 a.m. start. So I did those Friday morning, Saturday morning, and uh, I think that was also part of the residual fatigue. But I want you to consider that for you, What time are you going to bed? Have you thought about it? Have you got a routine? Are you staying up watching TV? Are you doing things which have no real benefit, but perhaps they are just a detoxification or a uh, rather than detox, like just something to take your mind away from the stresses of the day. And this is very common. I watch my wife do it. My wife will often go to the TV. It doesn't serve much purpose, but it does allow her to de-stress, or it seems like to me that that's its purpose. And if that is its purpose, then I just wonder whether there are not more effective mechanisms than watching TV, such as exercise, such as meditation, and such as the ability to ask oneself good questions to get clear on what the issues actually are in their life. For me, one of the issues is lack of sleep, not enough sleep. And I'm like, you know what? I can run on six and a half. I can run on seven hours, but there's commonly things that happen during the night. The dog comes in, my daughter comes into the bed, the need to go to the toilet. I don't know. My, my son's stomping around at 11 PM. I'm like, dude, come on. I'm trying to sleep. Go to sleep. Got teenagers. It's a different game. But it's important to recognize the actual problem. Okay, what's the problem? Not getting enough sleep. Why? Not going to bed on time. That my evening routine doesn't have enough discipline and therefore it's affecting the next day. And that has to change. That has to change. Or I put up with the consequences, put up with the risks, put up with the difficulties that that brings. Not willing to do that. So need to get to sleep. All right, that's all I got for you. Question for you is, how's your evening routine? Is it working? Yes or no? If it is, why is it working? If it's not, why is it not working? Have a think about those two questions. Is it working? Yes or no? If it is working, why? If it's not working, why? All right, that's all I got for you. You have an awesome day. I hope that's of use to you as a doctor. And if you do want some more help, then head over to Graduate Medicine at Facebook and click the message button there. Send me a message with your current challenges, whether they're sleep, whether there's something else in your life that you are like, you know what, I need some help. I need some coaching with this. Let me know what's going on over on Facebook Graduate Medicine page. All right, look forward to seeing another episode very soon.